Hello and welcome to my screencast on how to set up a Twitter account for your news organization. My name is Sean Smith with NewMediaBytes.com and I'm sharing a tip today which is perfect for a news organization that wants to create a Twitter account, that wants to dip its toes in this Twitter landscape, but doesn't want to devote a whole lot of staff time and staff resources to something such as this. Um, now if you're asking yourself, why do I have to care about Twitter, um, real quick, the good thing about sharing your stories about Twitter is actually that you will be able to then share your content with a uh, group of people who might not necessarily be looking for that type of content on your news site. Um, nowadays people get their news from social networking sites, they get their news from other news sites, they get them um, um, through their AIM chats, uh, you know, but not necessarily are people coming to your news site to actually get the content. So it's actually a great play to reach out to these audiences where they are. And one way to do that is by using Twitter, which can be easily syndicated throughout several social networks. So what I'm going to do today is just show you how to create one of these. Um, and give you an example of somebody who is already using it, has been using it for a while, is USA Today. Um, this is the USA Today on deadline blog Twitter account and what you see down the center well here is just a bunch of headlines and URLs um, that are basically a syndication of the blog feed that comes from the on deadline blog so each one of these headlines is a post from the on deadline blog and if we were to click one of these URLs it's gonna send us directly to um, a post on on the blog which is really nice uh, for people who like to follow the On Deadline blog through their Twitter account, um, who don't like to spend time on the site itself. So if I see something, that, if I'm following the online Deadline blog, I see something that's interesting, I click it, it's just a great way to get me on the site. And what they do is they use a, a service called Twitter Feed to re-syndicate that, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. Um, to get started, what I wanted to do was actually create a Twitter account Twitter feed for the Traverse City Record Eagle which is a newspaper in northern Michigan and I wanted to grab their news RSS feed so if I go to their news page um, they have an RSS link that I can use and there we are now I've created a uh, Twitter account for them already and um, it's e really easy to create a Twitter account all you do is go to twitter.com and hit get started and join and all you'll need is a username password and email address now it's important to know that every twitter account is unique to a unique uh, email address so you'll have to actually have an email address for every twitter account that you do um, now i've created one already which would be um, tc record eagle and that's the account name i'm making for the traverse city record eagle and so when we log in, this is the dashboard, this is what you would see. And um, you know, we can change some settings, which would be really important if you're going to be creating a Twitter account for your newspaper. What you'll want to do is log into the account and you want to change um, some items in here. And so you see my more info URL, especially importance. We want to um, actually put a URL there. So I'll grab that from the page. And we'll put that in there and we'll just say um, news from Traverse City, Michigan. Just like that. And we'll just say uh, Traverse City. And you can tell that I'm actually saying Traverse City quite a lot there. Um, that'll be good for SEO, but we don't need to say it that much. We might want to change things up with news. Um, you know, uh, we'll just say latest news, business, sports, and entertainment. And that'll kind of give us some other things that people might be searching for, and we'll just save that. And so now we've kind of filled out our profile, which is good for people who are searching um, for organizations like us and want to see these keywords. And we can change our picture, which would change this uh, regular thing there. I would just put a picture of the newspaper or the masthead in there. And we can change the design, and this is also kind of important, just to kind of give a better presentation on the web. And um, something I'll do is just change the style. 
which is not a whole lot of work um, and you can definitely do better than this And so all I'm doing is changing this background which is the blue birds flying there and I just want to change it to white so there we have the Twitter account um, just click this again and we'll see what our home looks like if we want to update it we can just go ahead and put something here but the big problem with this is um, you know how do you get your staff members to actually update your Twitter account how do you share the news and get that out there well it's really time consuming so what you really want to do is just turn to something like Twitter feed which is what the on deadline blog uses to resyndicate one of your RSS feeds and so this is the Twitter feed site um, and what you'll need to do is actually create yourself a open ID to use Twitter feed an open ID is um, kind of like a universal online identification that um, came about after so many people got fed up with having to create accounts on so many different sites they just wanted to create one universal one that would log into a bunch of sites and so um, what you can do is just go to a site such as uh, myopenid.com or claim ID which is the one I'm using for my Twitter feed account and um, just create an account there and it'll lo allow you to log into something such as Twitter feed and you see there's mine I'll just hit log in and it'll ask me to confirm so I'm confirming that I want to log in the Twitter feed and now I'm logged in that's great so up here on the right my Twitter feeds and I've got a few already created so I'm just gonna create a new one now and this page is gonna ask me for my user identification on Twitter so we'll do TC Record Eagle and we'll put in our password and the next thing it wants is our RSS feed and remember we had that right there so we'll put in the RSS feed now we can test this to make sure it's parsing correctly uh, make sure the login works it looks like that's good and the RSS feed works so wonderful uh, the next thing you'll see is the update frequency we can um, have the Twitter account update every hour that there's a new post available we can post up to five um, or we can change the frequency. We do 30 minutes, we could do every 24 hours, so one tweet a day, whatever we really choose. I prefer to do once an hour and post up to five. Um, the next thing is title and description. I think we should probably stick to the title. You can leave the description in there, which would probably be the first couple words from um, it, maybe the first paragraph, but I think sticking with the title, as long as you write a good title, is good enough. So we'll just do that and we'll hit create. And so what I just did is created a Twitter feed, um, which you see right there for TC Record Eagle, which brings in the news RSS feed from that Twitter account, and it will publish directly onto this page. So whenever a new entry actually goes on the news page of the Record Eagle using this RSS feed, now on the Twitter page, it will send out a headline and a RSS link um, to the story, just like on the On Deadline blog. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do to create a Twitter account and um, you know make that Twitter account on autopilot so you won't ever have to mess with it again. Um, now you definitely can log in and you can send updates and that's definitely something I would encourage you to pursue, but if you just want to give it a quick go, um, that's how you do it. So, happy Twittering.